How the Mole Got His Car. Illustrations by Zdenek Miller. Story by Eduard Patiska. This book was actually written in Czechoslovakia. Just look at all these cars driving about. Green cars and red cars, blue cars and yellow cars, some driving up, others down. There are so many of them that they cannot all squeeze into the picture. And no wonder, for who could paint all the cars that drive around in a big city? What are the strips of green grass between the cars for? They're there so that the cars, which are going one way, shall not bump into those coming the other way. Like this, every car knows exactly where it is to go and that it is and that it is as it should be. Now, now, who has been playing here on the grass? Who has dug up the earth and made this little heap? Was it children or perhaps a dog? But wait a moment. It looks as if the heap is alive. It keeps growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger all the time. The cars go whizzing past and do not even notice it. They are always in a hurry and do not stop because of a little heap of earth. Let us wait and see what is going on. At last, there is somebody peeping out of the, that heap of earth. Why, it is a little mole. Welcome to town, Mr. Mole. Oh, my nose, what a beautiful car, exclaimed the molten mole. It seems to belong to that little dog. But I did not know that dogs had cars. He has never seen such a thing before, and how could he have? Moles live in the fields and meadows, and there, of course, you would hardly expect to see a dog driving a car. Oh, if only I had a car like that, thinks the mole. If a dog can have a car, why not a mole? But the question is, what color should I choose? Red or green? Blue or perhaps yellow? A little teeny-weeny car could, would do, as long as it has four wheels and I can drive in it. I would turn the wheel, the car would fly along, and if I felt like it, I would sound the horn. Oh dear, if only I could have a car like that. So this is where they repair cars. A screw here, a piece of metal there, just there, and the car is finished. That is all very well, but where am I going to get the screws and the pieces of metal from? You think I do not know how to put a car together, don't you? But it is not very difficult. I know how to make underground passages in a molehill, so why should I not be able to build a car? I know I could do it. Come to think of it, I will. What huge wheels. I do not need such big ones. Every car must have wheels, though. In fact, I should say the wheels are the main thing if you want to make a car. But where am I to get the wheels from? If only I had four wheels and the screws and the pieces of metal... I would make a car in no time. I must not forget the floor. If I do not have a floor to my car, where am I going to put the seat? And how am I going to give, going to attach the wheels? They would just run off in all directions and I would be left sitting in the road. Once you have the floor and the wheels, the car is as good as finished. Just a pedal or two, some screws and a few pieces of metal, and I will be off. What is that you are carrying? asked an inquisitive mouse. Well, I thought you would want to know, laughs the mole, but I am not going to tell you. 
Oh, come on, Mr. Mole, tell me what you are going to build. Perhaps I can help you, says the mouse. I am going to build something that hoots and hums and purrs and runs about. Mice do not understand such things, replies the mole and walks away. Oh dear, I have searched high and low all over the town, and I still need such a lot of things. How difficult it is to build a car. Luckily, if I have found this tin, if only it were not so heavy. Maybe everything, everybody thinks that I shall not manage to make myself a car after all. But I will manage all right, you will see. Now, where am I to begin? Should I first make the roof and the floor and then fix the wheels to it? Or would it be better to start with the wheels and then add the floor and the roof? Or should the driving wheel come first? I wonder. Ah, now I've got it. I will start in the middle. Everything that I have got here belongs to the car, so it does not really matter where I start. It is bound to end up as a car. There, the car is finished. We are off. Want to lift Butterfly? Just sit on the roof, but take care not to fall off. But what is this? The car will not work. No matter how hard I step on the pedals, no matter how much I turn the wheel, the car will not budge. It does not buzz. It does not hum. It does not even hoot. Why won't you work, car? What am I to do? The trouble I have gone to, looking for screws and wires and pieces of metal, and now that car is finished, and it will not run. But what is this rolling along the ground? Why, it is a tire, a ge real, genuine tire. If only I had three more like it, my troubles would be over, and the car would be sure to work. One, two, three, four tires. Who could have sent them? They just came rolling along and I caught them. But what is that noise over there? Somebody is hammering away 19 to the dozen. I think I will go and see what is going on. What about the tires, though? I had better take them with me or they might run away again. I will put one around my neck like a collar another on my head like a hat, and the other two I can carry in my hands. Oh dear, what a mess. A little while ago, this was a nice little car, which you could wind up with a key, and it ran along and made a noise just like a real car. But naughty Charlie took a hammer and hammered away at it until only a few wheels and bits of metal were left. Why did he do that? Because he is naughty and likes to break things. But does he not know that you are not supposed to break your toys? Of course he does, and that is why he is running away now with his hammer. What a nice car. It would do perfectly for me. It had real wheels with tires and a seat and a driving wheel, and it really worked. But it does not run anymore. It is a poor, sick car. If only I knew who could mend it for me. What is the trouble, Mole? asked the inquisitive mouse. Oh, mouse, dear. I wanted to build a car, and it did not work. And now I have found another, a beautiful little car, but it is all broken, and I cannot mend it. It is a pity that you do not know how to mend cars. Well, I don't know that is true, replied the mouse, but I will show you where you can go for help. And she points to a house and a fence on the other side of the street.
What an awful weight. It is a good job. I managed to pick it all up. And how hot it is. It is such a nuisance having a fur coat in the summer. Now, what about the key? I hope I have not lost it. No, here it is. If I lost it, I would not be able to wind the car up, would I? What kind of magic is this? Is it really true or isn't it? Can they make a new car out of a broken one there? But surely the mouse must know what she is talking about. I am sure she knows every nook and cranny in this street. I will try and see anyway. Well now, this is just the thing. What will people think of next? A crane like this could lift me and a little broken car as well. All right, lift away. I wonder what you will bring back. I will wait right here. Oh, wow, wonderful. Thank you very much indeed, Crane, for bringing me a car. And will this one really run? Can I sit in it and turn the wheel and sound the horn? I am going to take good care of this car and drive ever so carefully so as to not damage it. First of all, I will put in the key and wind the car up. Brrr, what a nice sound it makes. One turn, two, three, gently so as not to break the spring. Just another second and we will be off, little car. We will go for a nice long run and then I will show you where I live. Why, that is the mouse who gave me such good advice. Hello there, mouse. Do you want to come for a ride? No, thank you, mole. The big black cat from the house next door might see me. You just drive on by yourself and have a good time. I do not run and but, but do not run anyone over. Oh dear, what now? The car has stopped. Doot, doot. The other cars are hooting at us. They do not want to be held up. All of them are in a hurry. The first is going to the seaside. The second is taking a little girl to see her granny. The third is delivering lemonade. The fourth is carrying apples and pears. The fifth, but are they all, but they are all in a hurry and now they cannot go further. My car is in the way. I know what it is. I have forgotten to wind the car up again. Wait just a second, please. Toot, toot, toot. The other cars are getting impatient. All right, do not hoot. I will be off in a jiffy. You see, the others run on petrol. But my car has to be worn up, wound up. There, now it is done. Brrr, what a beautiful sound. What a fine car I have got. It has the nicest sound in the world. There's all the cars stopped and waiting because he's in the way. Goodness, I only just managed to stop in time. I almost ran someone over. Really, this is no place to be crossing the road. You might have been run over. Next time, take a good look before you cross the road. Look to the right and then to the left. And only if you see that the road is clear, start across. Surprised, aren't you, little dog? Did you think cars were meant only for people and dogs and not for moles? Ha, 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 ha. There you are sitting in a car and the car is standing still. I am sitting in a car and driving along. If you were smaller, I would give you a lift. But I am afraid you are such a, you are much too big and would break my little car.
just look at all these cars driving about. Green cars and red cars, blue cars and yellow cars, some driving up, others driving down. So many of them that they cannot all squeeze into the picture. But where are they all going? It is evening and the cars have put their lights on so that they will not lose their way. And who is that in the little car? Yes, it is the mole, and he has put his lights on too in order to find his way home. Here we are, back at home. This is where I live, and you are here, going to stay here with me, little car. Now I am off to bed, and you can have a rest, too. I suppose I had better take the key with me, or someone might drive off in my car during the night. How do you like my little car, Bluebells? Beautiful, isn't it? And please do not forget to ring early in the morning to wake me up. We will go for another ride. Good night, little car. Good night. the end and he's sleeping with his key.